evening. Shrimp exists. Do you eat it? I do not eat it because I am a vegan. Besides, I never really liked it in the first place. Cocktail sauce is a condiment used with seafood, particularly shrimp. Besides seafood, and particularly shrimp, there are really not many uses for cocktail sauce. The cocktail sauce industry is thus behooved to find more uses for its product. As a vegan, you really don't eat much cocktail sauce. What would I use it for? You need to branch out cocktail sauce industry. I am not entirely sure all cocktail sauce has ingredients appropriate for vegans. Since I never really had much need for it, I really haven't looked much. I recall doing it once out of curiosity. Cocktail sauce is usually tomato based like ketchup. Since shrimp can be plain tasting, cocktail sauce can improve the taste dramatically. Shrimp is often eaten as an hors d'oeuvre. When I was in school during my youth, my dad would often ask us how to spell hors d'oeuvres. He knew it was a challenging word to spell. None of us could ever spell it, as I recall. Shrimp is a very fitting appetizer because one, it's not very filling generally, and two, it is a finger food since it is pretty small. Restaurants and bars may serve shrimp as appetizers. Usually, you'd want something more than just shrimp for a meal. You could have shrimp for an appetizer, then something more substantial and filling for the main course. Though it's not unheard of to have shrimp as the main course. Some restaurants even have all-you-can-eat shrimp. One type of shrimp is called jumbo shrimp. I hear people say and write, jumbo shrimp is an oxymoron. These people are on to something. Jumbo shrimp, although bigger than regular shrimp, is still small when held up to other foods. I'm not exactly sure how jumbo shrimp come about. They could be an entirely different species. Maybe jumbo shrimp are adult shrimp. Who knows? I have not extensively studied shrimp. Heaven forbid. So perhaps a marine biologist could give you a scoop on shrimp.
Although it's not so popular these days, it seems, once upon a time, people would use the term shrimp as an insult for shorter than average people. Calling someone a shrimp is more powerful than merely calling someone short or shorty. Shrimp has an extra zing to it that other names may not. Shrimp are very tiny. Thus, to call someone a shrimp is to suggest the person is super small. It's worse than half height, though, besides movies, books, or magazines, usually from the past, I don't recall people calling someone a half pint in real life. On the opposite end of the shrimp spectrum from jumbo shrimp is popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp can be very trendy. Like its name suggests, it is about the size of popcorn. It is an even better finger food than regular shrimp. You hear about restaurants, maybe food companies distributing, selling, and serving this popcorn shrimp. There's this one very gifted kindergartner I've worked with. Since she is so amazing, I refer to her as amazing. In order to get some critical thinking going, one day I asked her if there was anything she wanted to change about the school. She said sometimes she doesn't like what is served for lunch. She gave an example of the shrimp poppers our school serves. She's smart because shrimp isn't that good. Seafood as a whole to me isn't that good. Even when I was eating meat, I did not really want seafood. Except tuna. One of my colleagues at work sometimes is responsible for distributing checks. So I made a joke about shrimp with her. She was telling me what her daughter's favorite meals were. Her eldest daughter's favorite meal that the school served was shrimp poppers. I thus joked she could threaten to withhold paychecks from the cooks unless they serve shrimp poppers since she sometimes distributes paychecks. She found that funny. In Peter Singer's book, Animal Liberation,